and we are live hello everybody my name is impractical and guess what we're doing today that's right finally sonic adventure 2 battle modded my god this has been in the works forever i don't i don't even know how long i've been talking about doing this i'm just so happy to finally be doing it okay so but there's like a lot of mods to go through i don't want to spoil it i would throw it on the screen but then I'm, that's just gonna be so spoilery we're just gonna like put it in the description just look in the description for it trust me you guys are gonna like it just look in the description there's a lot of good stuff and then we can add more as we go along per episode this is gonna come out weekly it is such a very 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 big project because these are going to be edited every week at the start of the week and then uploaded at the end of the week. So basically started on Monday and uploaded on Friday kind of a thing. But yeah, let's just get into this. We're going to start with Dark because it is Year of the Shadow. Let's just focus on him and just enjoy the most out of this. We're in Prison Island and everything is horrendously. Why is it so dark? Why Why is it dark? Is it, was it always this dark? No, seriously, I... I is my brightness on right? Because this is a lot darker than I remember it. You know, it's kind of weird that Eggman decided to come in here on a Eggmobile with legs and then a cannon. Kind of maniacal. He could have just sent a giant robot, but no, he wanted to do it himself. You know, we should get this in Sonic Speed Simulator. This would be really fun to have in there. Just imagine, just doesn't have to fly. Just walks on ground and shoots stuff. They didn't even add my suggestion for a chili dog soup Sonic. That would have been amazing. And just look at it on screen. That would have been the best skin in the game, hands down. Just imagine that doing a spin dash. Okay, so obviously I'm going to be blitzing through this level. We're going to be powering through. We need to get the chow key. I think it's over here, if I remember. Yes, it is over here. Okay, so we do got to grab a chow key. I want to get into this garden as soon as possible, so that way I can enjoy it right away. Why is my mouse stuck on the screen? Okay, you know what? Forget it. I'm... I just don't want to stop. So we're just going to keep moving forward. Um, can I get the Snap Cubes voice lines in this game? I, I, oh my god, if we could get Snap Cubes dub over this, it would be nice. Is there a mod for that? Oh my god, that'll be amazing. We could just add it in for the cutscenes. I would love that. I don't know if you guys would love that, but I would love that. It would be hilarious just to react to that live. But um, okay, so. Yeah, so, okay, I'm back to playing this game. It was, let's see, I played this first in the Dreamcast. I, I know I'm rambling a lot, going all over the place, but this is my first Let's Play, so we're going to get through this together. But I played Sonic Adventure Battle 2 when it came out for the Dreamcast. I also played Adventure 1 when it came out for the Dreamcast. Then I got, well, I didn't get the DX, the director's cut for GameCube, but I did get Adventure 2 Battle for the GameCube. And that was a lot of fun, especially the two-player mode, because going to be honest, having family and friends over just to play the game and just have sleepovers with it was the best experience ever. It was a great it Not even was. It still is a good game. This actually holds up pretty well. You know? Is there anything over here? No, there isn't. Almost fell. But yeah, so honestly, there is a lot to look forward to this. And just seeing the mods that's already out and that I installed, I'm kind of excited. Not even kind of. Definitely I am excited for it because this is something completely new to me, especially some of these mods. I got a whole chow editor. Is there anything back here? No? Why do I keep thinking there's something back here? Can I jump on this? No, wait. Yeah, you know what? Forget it. I died. It's okay. I should have known better. Should have just kept moving forward. But yeah, so I got this whole chow editor. Th I mean, he had a boxing glove? I did not notice that the first time. Why does he have a spring-loaded boxing glove for a what? You are a genius with a IQ of 300 or something. Whatever's in your bio file for writers or heroes or whatever it's called. Um, <laughs> and he put a boxing glove. That's funny. But um, yeah, I... I just played the hell out of this game growing up. I feel like I just bounced around subjects. But yeah, this game is amazing to play growing up. And it's pretty crazy that we're starting off with the dark story because as soon as Shadow came out, I became a big fan of Shadow. And it's like, wow. I don't know, he was the coolest to me growing up. And I'm pretty sure that was the same for everybody else who first saw, and I died again, <laughs> who first saw Shadow. They thought he was probably the coolest version of sonic or basically the coolest hedgehog and i mean come on he had that whole edge thing going on although i think oh six not oh six but um shadow hedgehog solo game was a bit overkill with the guns and everything else because i'm like why 
Also, that bit of him on a motorcycle. I mean, technically, he goes faster, so why would he need a motorcycle? I think there's like, let's make him edgier for no reason. But, um, oh man, this is the year of the shadow, and we're already starting this. Uh, it's such a good feeling just to be playing this again. You know, I don't know if anybody else saw this or video, but there is a video out there about Shadow <laughs> stealing Sonic's, uh, what's it called? He stole Sonic's passport because he wants to go to Mexico, and it's because he loves Latinos. Well, there's a funny thing about that. It is basically confirmed canon, according to most developers or people who worked on, like, Sonic X. Uh, what was it? Something about that they wanted to like make a character that was slightly sexy or something of sort of appeal, and um, they decided to take the inspiration from it. And they kind of took off some looks from like I believe J Lo. And so I'm just like, huh? I I'm pretty sure it is. I'll probably put it on the screen for you guys to see it right there. But it was pretty mind boggling just to read that because I'm like, oh my god, this all makes sense. Rouge is in Team Dark, with Shadow's in that team. Okay, Shadow loves Latinas. Who is Shadow obsessed with? It's Maria. What is Maria's name origin? It's Latin origin. Ergo confirming that Shadow has an obsession with Latinas. I just love Latinas. It's... <laughs> it's confirmed on so many levels. And then I'm looking at Rouge's original design, and I'm just like... There is no way this actually got through for a children's game. God, I'm going to be honest. A lot of stuff I look at back then as a kid, I'm like, man, now as an adult, I'm just like, they let this through. Who greenlit this? But yeah, no. So yes, yeah, Shadow, Shadow got a thing for Latinas. His obsession is canon. It's confirmed in all angles. There's no deniability of it. Let me out. <laughs> Yo, I feel like I've been in this level forever. Oh my god, Snapcube's dub is right. It feels like, why do they keep putting a freaking door every time? You don't need to shut it. Just let me, there we go. Another, oh my god. I just want to be free. I'm hitting the pause button. This, oh my god. I'm going to get another door. Just let me hit the freaking missile. Just, just hit the missile. Let me get out of here because this is, what? Why is it not working? Right. Oh, I got a trigger. Why? Why? Was there a need for the door to go sideways? Does that even help at all? Like, is there any benefit for a door going sideways? <laughs> Wait, what? These boost pads are not even fast enough either. Oh, God. Oh, well, we're finally through. Wait, there's a chow box. No. Oh, well, I got the key. So. Yay, we made it through, we succeeded, and we got a... Whoa, wow. That's bad. Yikes. I, I, I didn't know I'd do that bad. Ooh, if anybody could get me this screen right here, this little emblem screen, like in a green screen kind of thing, I would appreciate that. It would be really effective. Okay, time to enjoy the child world. Let's go! Okay, I can't wait to see the extended. Okay. I think it just crashed. Please work. Please, please, please work. Please. Yes, it's alive. It's alive. Yes. Okay, thank God. You have no idea. This this took forever. I don't even know what crashed it. I don't even know what mods broke it at this point, but I just kept unclicking stuff, and now it works. Look at this place. It's... Uh, whoa, what, what happened to the transporter? Uh, hmm. I don't think the transport is supposed to look like that, but whatever, this is a win. It works. I don't care. Let's get our first chow. I know exactly what to call you. Come on. Wake up, David. Let's go. We're going to go on an adventure together. Come here. That's right. Only first five seconds of life and you already experienced trauma. But come on. I'm going to name you and it's going to be beautiful. Let's go, David. So obviously this chow is going to be David. Of course it's going to be David. It's our David. We're going to name it David Mod. It's going to be hilarious. It's going to be perfect. All right, let's just get him in here. Let's just uh, try to put his name down. A uh, lucky name. Uh, I don't think anybody ever stuck with the names the fortune teller gave. Pyraz? Pyraz. Really? No, no. It's a terrible name. Yeah, sure. Why not? Let's see what else you got. Uh, Presto. 
Kaku. Wow. Okay, yeah, no. Forget this. Forget the fortune teller. We're not letting this fortune teller name any of our chows. It's a terrible decision. Perfect, perfect, perfect. We got ourselves a David chow. Look at this guy. Uh, you know, I really should message David and see if he, uh, what kind of, I don't know, what kind of hat he wants or well, I don't know what he wants his chow to look like. But let's see what stats this chow comes with. All right, let's see. Okay, yeah, of course David's feeling very healthy. He's only have a slight concussion from the trauma. All right, uh, looking at his stats, uh, an A and run. Wow. All right, perfect. That's uh, that's actually really good. An A to start off with an egg. Uh, better yet, you're going to... You know what? This is going to be perfect later on when we start breeding chows. But other than that, we got ourselves a David chow. This is perfect. And we're going to bring him right back. Oh, wait. There's also a mod that I got here that I want to try to see if it works. But before I do that, let me let me message my Discord members. Hold on. Let me find out who wants a chow named after them. And our winner is Link. That's right. My Discord member Link has won. It was just the first two who ever replied to my message. And it looks like now they got it. Let's check out Link's stats. So, okay. Let's see what Link is good for here. What do they have? Of course, they're healthy. They just had trauma, slight concussion. Who wouldn't be healthy from that? Uh, looks like a B and swim. Not bad. Okay. We can work with that. That's perfect. Oh, let's try the many hat mods. Let's, let's go. Let's uh, not many hats, but yeah, let's try the hats. We got lots of hats to pick from, especially for this. Uh, let me see. Go to shopping. Where are the hats at? Hats, 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 hats. Yes, here we go. We got all these hats, guys. Ch check out all of these hats. Look at all these hats we can get for the chows. Obviously, we're going to get them all hooked up. If any of you guys do get chosen to be, you know, be picked as a chow, you get your options of hats and decor and customization Ooh, a link hat would be perfect for them so we need to get 2000 rings can i cheat this in let me see go over here click uh, the chow editor i think it's the chow editor isn't it yeah um i don't see the money changing uh, let me see how am i gonna figure this out oh wait what what did i do there did I just added something or take it out? No, wait, hold on. I, I swear I need to add windows. You know, the next video, I'm going to add little windows for the chow editor. So that way you guys can see what I'm doing in that menu, especially when I'm not active in the game. But seriously, how do I add in money? Does this, is this how it works? Maybe it's this. I don't even know what I'm doing. Oh, there you go. Okay, so I'm able to add in a pumpkin. Now I know where this is at. Okay, so now we just need to find the hat. Found it. Perfect. Okay, so we got the hat. Oh, wait, Skull Kid's hat? Okay, well, this is for later. So we've got ourselves a hat. It is beautiful. All right, I'm going to have to ask Link uh, what other customization options. We're going to make this child look for them, especially alignment and stuff like that. You know, these childs are going to be personalized for you guys. It's going to be a whole experience, and then I'm going to have you all fight to the death in child karate. It's going to be beautiful. Trust me. All right, let's just cut the episode right here. I want this first episode to be kind of short, but I also don't want it to be too long. You guys can let me know down in the comments below what do you think for the content. As you can see, we gave Link the cap, and he is drowning. They are all going to drown. I'm going to need to fix that. But yeah, so you guys can let me know what you think about the video and this concept. Just don't forget to leave a like, comment down below your thoughts. If this is your first time watching. Don't forget to subscribe, especially for more content like this. We're going to be doing a lot of Tower Garden related content and also SA2 story mode as well. We're going to be focusing on Dark because it is Year of the Shadow. And then we're going to wrap it up with the hero mission and then the finale at the end. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I do appreciate you guys sticking around. Again, my name is Impractical, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.